saw that match that you've made in a, in a page of your own called your your matches. So so this is like um, this is a, a multiple pronged attack. Okay, so that um, it can be there's no better matching than manually matching. The mismatch room is in the view data drop down menu, and it's about the uh, fourth item down. Let me just check here. Yep, the mismatch page. And you can, you can flick through domain by domain. You can sort of hang out and think geek.com and set, see there's a few items there that, that could be matched. There might be a, um, you know, a, a, like a Nintendo type style piece of clothing that you want to match up with Amazon that somebody has just casually hit the, the mismatch button. Um, and uh, you can then match it up. And so there's, there's that. But also, Sometimes people say to me, um, "How come I saw? Um, how come I, I am seeing mismatches in my filtered searches?" Well, the best way to see if there's going to be a category that's giving really good good searches is actually just to do a single page unfiltered. So, if you look at a completely unfiltered page of results, you're going to see how well it matches, and you might find that it's 97% of all the matches are, are perfect, but the three percent that don't match they're more likely, and this is the catch, they're more likely to slip through your filters as Sean was just explaining. So um, obviously a mismatched item will have a different price. So therefore it might trigger the over 50% return on investment filter. So therefore might show in your view data page. Does that make sense? So, um, so you'll look at your view data page and go, oh, I've got, I've got like five good matches here, but I've also got three or four mismatches here. Well, the three or four mismatches have appeared because of the, you know, you're showing things over 50%, but the mismatch item has got a mismatch price as well. So that's kind of how it happens. And that's where we, um, we currently draw on the, uh, the, the kindness of the community to mark those as mismatches so that the next person doesn't see them. Or perhaps you wanted to be a little proactive and match it yourself and perhaps find a deal that you wouldn't otherwise see. And that's kind of how the mismatching um, works and why it appears. Um, ultimately, the software is extremely good. It's definitely excellent at finding UPC matches, and I'm very, very happy with the algorithms we've got in place for the title matches. But with a, with a, with a title like Large Dog Bowl, um, we're not going to be able to immediately match that ourselves. Now, one thing we are trying to do is inject in between UPC and title matching, a, uh, a, a image matching technology. So what it's going to happen is it's going to look at the pixels over here, it's going to look at the pixels over on Amazon and see whether or not it can find a match um, after it checks the UPC, then it checks if we're looking at an accurate image and then it'll move to title. So it's, it's, it sounds like um, a good concept when you just explain it in one sentence, but the technology is quite complex and uh, it's not something that we've, um, we, we are that far along with yet, but that is one of, the, uh, one of the algorithms that we're working on. And we're also looking at another set of algorithms which doesn't just analyze the title on the source page, but it also extracts key points from the descriptions on the source page as well and uses that in the matching algorithms for the title to try and increase every, every few percent we increase is um, every few percent that we increase uh, that matching is better. But ultimately, I think uh, sending in an army of VAs to do those manual matches in the mismatch room um, and, and the community working together um, like, uh, like crowdsourcing those matches is, is even better than um, image matching and title matching. Um, so so I, I do hope that that all makes sense. Um, I, I encourage you to scan pages uh, with no filter at all, just so you can play with the software and see how well that site is matching and whether, whether that site is a really good category. Uh, um, one last thing I'll say is we used to use the AWS keys and we switched to MWS keys. Long-term users will understand that they originally used um, the uh, product advertising API and we've now moved to the MWS API. A lot of advantages came with that. But um, one, of the, one of the, I guess, I don't know if I'd call it a specific disadvantage, it certainly raised more queries, is that um, the MWS is, is, is a bit softer on a mismatch. So it'll show the exact same things that the product advertising API would. 
But the product advertising API would sometimes uh, chuck something out the window and say, well, that's not a, that's not a match, we'll chuck it away. The MWS keys um, keep a few more of those and say, well, let's, let's also keep uh, this because it could be a match. So it, it presents it to us all and says, you know, I hope I've done the right thing. Here's, here's what I think is a match. Some of them actually are matches. Some of them are deals that we wouldn't otherwise find. So it's good that we're getting that extra data, but um, we're also seeing a few more of those during the times that it doesn't match. So um, we're always working on the software and you can, you can be sure that um, I, I am not getting a lot of sleep. I work as many hours on the software as I possibly can to make it better. And it, add as many features and sites as possible. Anyone who's been with me from the start knows that um, I, I never give up on this. But it, I, hope that helps, um, I hope that helps explain the reasons why you will at times see mismatches and how the filters can sometimes bring those to the top, like Sean explained, and, uh, and how you can proactively do something about those matches to make the entire set of matches. And we've, we've literally um, crowdsourced match nearly 25,000 matches since integrating that new feature. So um, so it's every month, it's just gonna get better and cleaner and faster and nicer and smoother. And, uh, and, and I just ask you all to just enjoy the matches that you do find and work on cleaning up the matches that, that aren't perfect and, uh, and, and just helping make it better. So does that, does that all make sense? Michael Flanagan.